Hello scientists, welcome to Draw Mad, the channel that teaches scientists to draw professional scientific illustrations for their research publications. And I'm scientific illustrator John, and this video I will talk about Adobe Illustrator. That should scientists learn Adobe Illustrator. Before we get into it, please smash that like button so this neuron can have your energy and support to send out action potentials. Adobe Illustrator is the uh, one of the industrial standard graphic design software that uh, Illustrator used to create uh, vector-based images. So what is vector-based images? It is an image that is calculated by the computer through mathematical functions. And you can check out this video for more detail about vector-based images. Vector-based image is also the image format that most of the journals would like their authors to uh, provide them. As you can see in the video about the nature guideline for preferring final artwork, they prefer you to prepare your images in vector-based images. And Adobe Illustrator is the best software for preparing these type of files. And it can save your files into the EPS file, AI file, and PDF files. I will highly recommend you to use Adobe Illustrator to prepare your figures and your graphic abstract. And the downside about Adobe Illustrator is that it is a paid software. And I noticed from a lot of my clients and workshop participants that they don't have Adobe Illustrator subscriptions at their institutes. So uh, it can be a barrier towards using this software. You can choose to use an open source software called Inkscape. I've talked a little bit more about it over here. And also I have Inkscape uh, tutorials on this channel so you can also follow it alone but if you are able to access Adobe Illustrator at your institute then it is the best choice in my opinion to draw your graphic abstracts in because it has many tools that can help you to save your time while creating very complex structures especially about repetitive patterns and also distortions that are required while uh, building up these very complex biochemical structures. So I would highly recommend uh, you to use Adobe Illustrator and also learn about Adobe Illustrator. And that's another thing about Adobe Illustrator is that uh, it can look quite intimidating uh, when, for people who have never used it. It is not as straightforward as PowerPoint uh, that uh, you can just uh, really intuitively start to use those very basic functions because a lot of functions in Adobe Illustrator are uh, in some way a little bit complicated uh, to get into and there are a lot of uh, factors that you need to key in. But these tutorials can show you how to draw those uh, structures that you see in a lot of the journals, uh, especially in Nature Review. Uh, so uh, that's the benefit that you can get once, once you know how to use Adobe Illustrator. And you can also join uh, us uh, on this uh, community on the Drogomad channel and to uh, draw together with uh, thousands of scientists that have uh, subscribed here. That's my uh, take on the other bit illustrator. I highly recommend it to scientists for for those who really want to present your uh, graphic abstract in a very professional way. It can really help you to save a lot of time while providing very good results. If you find this video helpful, please give the thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to Drawbound Med for more of these type of uh, videos. I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.